Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a comfort mod for your Quest 2. Now many of you may have seen on the channel recently a product by Studio Form which is a weight balance kit for the Reverb G2. In fact many of you are very impressed with the results. <laughs> they even sold out on their website but hopefully all stocks have now been resumed. Now they've got the same thing for the Quest and this actually needs it more. You know, I was a bit, I wasn't very convinced that the Reverb G2 needs uh, extra comfort mods, but it does make a difference. But when you talk about the Quest 2, it's a lot easier to recommend any comfort mods, to be honest, including the VR covers, facial interface as well. But uh, what I'm going to show you today is basically the head strap here, which is, um, it really stabilizes uh, the headset on your head, of course. On those long play sessions, it just pops on like that. And it sits there and what that means is is you don't have to have it pressed up against your face which can cause fatigue um it just kind of just sits there really nice and balanced is there, is there a way i can kind of show you if i just did this right if i did that look at that i'm just holding it by the strap in the middle and it's perfectly balanced because you've got 200 grams on the back right at the back of the head so even though the headset feels heavier it's actually more comfortable because all that weight is right at the back you don't notice it you really don't and then of course with this strap i think that makes a huge difference as well because it really just makes everything very stable now i've got to say as well melissa which uses she uses the quest a lot uh, she sometimes struggles when she's playing beat saber uh keeping the headset still you know on her face it kind of moves around and then before you know it even with the oculus quest 2 the sweet spot is kind of all over the place She's found that, in fact, she played it for about 45 minutes, which is a long time for her. It's probably like 50% more than what she normally would and really enjoyed it with this setup. So that's pretty cool. In fact, to be honest, there's no point me saying this. How about you hear it from the horse's mouth, so to speak? Here's Melissa and she'll explain what she thinks to the studio form setup. <laughs> Hi there, guys. So, yeah, so basically I thought I'd come and offer my opinion uh, of what I think about this weight uh, and strap and I think that it's really really good uh, I was in Beat Saber the other day for like 45 minutes if not maybe longer I can't actually remember it might have even been an hour and it was really really good uh, this weight at the back was really good at keeping the headset stable uh, and the strap really helped in the middle as well which obviously therefore helped with the sweet spot and the clarity and you know like everyone knows uh, that sweet spot and clarity is so pivotal for you to really enjoy that VR immersion experience uh, so yeah I think it's an absolutely fantastic job uh, and you know see what else you come up with guys you know just keep on creating and but to be honest uh, I can't see anything that's going to beat this uh so i guess we'll have to wait and see what else comes on the market uh, but anyway that's enough of me i'll pop you back to steve bye as always guys um what i'll do is uh, i think i'll go into airfly fs2 today because i haven't shown it on the channel uh for a long time and we'll go and go, go for a flight and i can just give you my impressions as i'm flying how it feels uh on, on the head kind of thing but also what I will say as well is that it's very easy to uh, to in fact what I'll just show you here basically if you take this off here it's just basically a strap that goes right round there it's velcro like this look and puts goes straight onto this bit like so underneath the strap and then you've got this here which kind of hooks on the back with the weight dangling down the back and of course this is nice and cushioned so it feels very very uh very comfortable and it's just one of those things that once you've tried this mod i i just don't want to in fact what i did was the other day is i took all this off and played a bit of saints and sinners and i i didn't last five minutes in it before i wanted to put all this back on again which tells me that this is a definite winner now if you are interested in this uh, particular uh, product from studio form i do have a discount code five percent off if you mention my channel name in capital letters i'll put that in the link in the description below anyway let's get in the sim and check it out further so welcome to aerofly fs2 we are in switzerland 
Oh, I love this sim so much. It's so smooth. And in the Quest 2 on Air Link, it's really quite incredible. And just to say, um, I want to reiterate that the Quest 2 sweet spot is really good. In fact, it's better than the Reverb G2. So this studio form doesn't really make that any better because it's not really an issue in the first place. But the real key thing for me about the studio form balancer, particularly this as well on the back of the head, the uh, 200 gram balancer, is that it really makes the headset very nice and uh, stable. It, it's not, all the, the weight is kind of like distributed perfectly. So it just sits on your head rather than strapped to your head, if that makes sense, or it kind of, you know, when it, I don't want to really move around too much in VR because I know it's annoying, but if I just do that for a second, guys, okay? I know it's annoying. Right, I'm doing this now, okay? It's just this. And right, literally, look, it's not actually tight on my head, yet it stays where it is. That's thanks to the uh, deluxe kind of head strap. So together with the uh, weight balancer and this head strap, um, it just makes everything feel really comfortable because you don't feel like you're... I guess constrained or obstructed. I guess you don't really feel like you've got a headset on. And I suppose that's what I'm trying to say here, which sounds really strange because clearly I have got a massive VR headset strapped to my face, but it doesn't feel like it. And uh, yeah, it's it's quite ingenious. When they first emailed me about this, particularly for, you know for both the Reverb and the Quest Two, I was I wasn't I was like a bit dubious about it. I thought is. It, imagine having extra weight on a headset you know when all we're trying to do right now in VR manufacturers they're trying to make the headset lighter and this just makes it heavier but it, it makes it heavy in the correct places in fact it doesn't make it heavy only when you feel it when you've got it on your head it feels really well balanced oh this is so good This really is a pleasure. And it really makes the Quest 2 feel a bit more premium as well, if that makes sense. I am using the VR Covers facial interface as well, and I think the whole thing really makes a difference to that all-important comfort. This is just epic. Do you know what, guys? I think... Um, I would recommend Aerofly FS2 to everyone who's into VR and flying. If you've had a stressful day at work and you just want to fly, you don't have to worry about settings or tweaks and tips and all that kind of stuff, this is the sim to fly in. It is spectacular. So there we are guys. That is basically my review of the Studio Form uh, weight balancer. It's another winner basically and do you know what? If you want that 5% off, just check the link in the description below and grab yourself one before they get out of stock again like last time. Take care, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye for now.